Welcome to round three of the AOD Season 12 Titan Tournament thingy. With Ark, also known as Bruce and Gloria, in the blue as GDI versus Relentless, also with a GDI. And Relentless is, of course, Critical Mads, which is how we'll probably refer to them. Right, GDI for both, slightly faster start for Critical Mads. But Ark with the like slightly lower construction yard. So might have like an easier time getting to this field, which is the largest field on the map. Same with this one, of course, but like on their side, I guess. Anyways, both now out with a refinery. Okay. Hopefully we won't see like stupid harvesters today. And okay, no, we don't. Great. Anyways, double ref over here, single over there. And there it is. Okay, so scouting. Not amazing, not amazing. Which means that both players have done well in denying the enemy scouting. Which, well, especially in a GDI meta, is kind of important. Especially to, like, keep your construction yard hidden. Now, three ref over here, and three ref over here soon. This one isn't that nicely placed, though. I mean, it's already, like, quite far away from this field, and... Oh, it is able to go through there. Okay. Then it isn't as bad as I kind of thought. I was like, is it going to have to go all the way around? But, like, no, it's not that bad. Still not amazing? I don't think so, but it's not that bad. Anyways, Grenadier almost got a little bit of scouting on the construction yard, but it did not. Grenadier is in the middle. Holding the choke quite nicely. And once again, going to try and snipe or like scout something, not snipe something. One heavily damaged Grenadier is not going to snipe anything. And third refinery on this patch now for critical mats as well. Which means that they're on five versus just four on this side. And I would actually say that those are probably a little more efficient as well. Just like considering this one specifically. And Grenadier there didn't get amazing shots off. KD is going quite well for Gloria. And in Eco House, that actually slightly ahead, which isn't that surprising because this one was up first compared to the one from Critical Mads. So, like, yeah, 200, 300 ahead, no more. And Critical Mads now once again come to try and scout, 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 and oh, almost, but not quite. Building. No, you're not building. I already deselected them. Anyways, Gloria does have this field very nicely secured with a like forward barracks and all that. Critical Mads might be like going upwards here, maybe to like either defend this point or get there, maybe? I don't know. War Factory is out, so they should have an easy time scouting, and it's not known to Gloria. However, Light Scout is going to do its scouting duties, so then it will of course be known. Does that mean we are going to have an Orca Switch? What did you just build? Oh, that draft probably. Um, well, we'll have to see. One thing's for sure, these Grenadiers are all chasing, which kind of means that this is open. Could be blocking now, but isn't. Oh well, not a big deal. Would be nice, of course, if, like, Critical Mats was, like, blocking one of the refs. Just because that denies more eco. And we do indeed have an Orca switch now from Gloria. Triple Orca already, with just two light, uh, two medium tanks. I guess those are light tanks in the GDI arsenal. Uh, and Orca switch as well for Critical Mats. Might be a little expensive, but it is in... Also, like, the only real thing you can do against the orcas themselves. Critical Mads on, like, 300 plus power. So, well, almost 300 excess power. So, just damaging a power plant is not going to matter to them. And, well, construction yard under fire, but it's not a big deal. One medium tank can even be out healed if it's needed. But not even that was necessary. However... That's four Orcas. 
so it might have been very necessary. And goodbye construction yard. And you had one piece of ammo left and now none of them have ammo. Right. Targeting a refinery. Is it going to stay up? It should. And Harvester is not really in that much danger. Buying more Orcas. It makes sense. I mean, you need to spend your cash on something. And it's, of course, a good idea against War Factory. Mini tank one going down. The other one is going to try and run over the infantry. And now the target of the enemy Orcas. Um, damaging a power plant is... Did I have it the wrong way around again? Really now? Stupid. Anyways. Both players had access power anyway, so it's not a big deal. And power plant gone for... For uh, Rusen's Gloria. Still has like 39 power left over. So still not a big deal. But that means that, like, back when I said that, oh, Gloria was, like, 300 eco ahead, they were actually, like, 300 behind. Not a big deal, of course, but oh well. And Hofster gone, but the construction yard was scouted, and you know what that means? That means that with seven Orcas, it is a dead construction yard. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. Anyways, double war factory over here will stay up for now. And rocket soldiers will be their only anti-air. It's a little bit of a sniping back and forth. Oh yeah, and orcas of course, but those have a better target. They just need to be sniping production buildings, eco, all that stuff. And yeah. Or... Nope, they are actually going for the orcas. Okay, no big deal. I mean... Like, uh, air superiority for your enemy is not great. I kind of want to deny that as well, but oh, this hurts. Rocket soldiers aren't good, but, well, one orca went down, the other one was heavily damaged, but War Factory did go down in the meantime. Over here, this is going to hurt majorly. This is like, oh no, I'm dead. You can't reload your orcas, and there are medium things on their pad. All of your orcas, all of a sudden, pre well, pretty much all of your orcas, gone. Medium things are still alive somewhat and oh stupid game slightly back again anyways two little orcas are left they still have some ammo one of them at least the other one is now dead okay and you can run over the infantry with your medium tanks if you want to and well last orca is still alive does it get targeted no it doesn't so it is still alive is that enough though no, because there are four orcas over here, there is a war factory, and eco is 4,000 ahead for critical mats. This time I'm confident about that, is what I say. Um, and two orcas, three orcas, because you did buy a couple of new ones. And, well, yeah, critical mats with just superior everything, pretty much kill death ratio is better, sniping more eco up north. Or trying to at least. Will go down in the future. Not yet though. And over here. Like sure. Your orcas are doing something. But there are me uh, enough rocket soldiers to take down. A one or even two of them. I think one of them went down. This one is damaged but not dead. And you know. Power plant minus 107. And minus 166 power. Yeah, that production from Gloria is a gone. Rocket soldiers all around, so like you can't really snipe anything. Only one is left over here though. So you could sneak through there, but it's not going to matter. Critical Mads now within offensive harvester. Um which is dead. Did it accomplish a lot? No? But maybe they just felt like they didn't really need it eh, on, like, eco-duty. And... One... Two... The Ryokas go down for critical mats. That's not great either. Because now it's, like, three to one. The other way. But look at the army numbers here. A whole bunch of grenadiers, which could, of course, explode very nicely. 
But it seems like they're not going to. Facing off against mainly rocket soldiers, it's not happening. And tanks as well. Critical match really just has too much, I feel. Uh, might be able to buy some more orcas if they want to in order to snipe eco over here, but it could also just do it with the grenadiers. Officer, like, refinery going down, orca going down. And the other orcas are still alive, but will not be for long. One helipad gone, the other one should be gone soon. Uh, that's two orcas down, three, four, and a sell-off from Prusen's Gloria. A better tanky eco lead for critical mads. Game 2 between relentless critical mads versus. Uh, Ark. Uh, Prisoner's Gloria in the blue. Both once again playing as a GDI. It looks like it. And this is going to be an important match. Or at least, like, somewhat important. It's going to be a match which hopefully shows off the new feature of like the overly because critical mats is going to lose a lot of eco really quickly so grenadiers spreading out and all that one refinery up over here now a uh, one refinery up over here not exactly a, a very efficient harvester honestly and uh, this one is a lot better and in the meantime, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Yes, you know that. I know that. Okay. Thank you. And... Oh, did she get it? Yes, you did. Because those grenadiers threw grenades and that exposed them and... Oh, no. Um... Orcas? Here we come. Maybe. Because you now know about construction yard placements. So you could snipe it if you want to. Anyways, three refs over here. Three over here as well. That's a lot of refs for this one very small field. Whereas these are, of course, quite a lot better spread out. Two on the middle field and, like, these two are somewhat spread out. Anyways, over here. Ooh, that's also not amazing. Oh, well. Um, Over here, Grenadiers just throwing grenades and all that. Holding uh, this river of the two, one of the two rivers very nicely, because yeah, those are some pretty decent joke points. I mean, three spots, no more to go through. So four ref versus five ref by now, but these are already like starting to get a little less efficient. I would say. I mean, they already have to travel like four or five spaces to get to the tubidium, and this one as well, like three, four. Oh. Or it even has to go around the other one. That would make it even worse if that's true. Okay. Anyways, War Factory is out now for Prusen's Gloria. And Critical Matt knows about everything. And if they didn't know, well, then Prusen's Gloria would just move in there with a light scout, showing that they have a War Factory. Another little refinery. And that's an important refinery because it's on one of the bigger... Uh, Tiberium fields on the map. One ref sell off over here for Prusen's Gloria. And just one little medium tank out. Not a lot of army available for critical mats right now, but more of it more of it is coming in. A lot of grenadiers there. And is the little light scout going to sit in front of the entrance? No, it isn't. Okay. Just running around being annoying. Not really sure what critical or the person's Gloria still wants to know. I mean, they know everything, right? Oh, uh, not really. Anyways, Orca Switch is coming in now for uh, critical mads. And you know what? Orca Switch makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's good against a war factory. And you have the option to snipe the construction yard. Uh, all around, that's just a great place to be in, just if you want to get up orcas. Right. Eco, like 5 ref versus 6 ref. Yet, well, no. Yeah, 1700 ahead for critical meds. And that's 4 little orcas moving in. What are they going to snipe? Nobody knows. 
And that's not fast enough with the pad and it does go down. Moving on to something a little indecisive because this is a scary force. It really is. You have a couple of ammo little ammo pellets left and trying to defend with multiple barracks. Makes sense because spamming grenadiers is very effective normally. Uh, but uh, one barracks is gone. Uh, the other barracks is soon going to go away as well. There it goes and now there is not a lot here. Refinery is very exposed, half of the could go down and it should go down, there it goes. And well, another barracks, but what does the barracks produce? Not a lot, because uh, I see grenades coming out of this one. Yeah. The game is stupid with its priority. Okay. And Grenade is now throwing some grenades. Not really getting the best of shot. They really aren't. I mean, some of them are good. Which does delay the push from Gloria a little bit. Not sure what Critical Mans is trying to do on the other side. Not really moving in right now. And one light scout down gone. Is that enough ammo? Yes, that is. To take down the medium tank. And power plant gone, that's minus 66 power now. Then harvester. Maybe it should have ran over these. Or this one even, now run over. Or is that not going to be necessary? It is not. Okay. So. Over here, those grenadiers move in after a while and nothing happened. Rocket soldiers coming out to defend the construction yard. It does make a lot of sense. And barracks is sold off. Okie dokie. Power plant not going to matter too much. 129 power. And that. And just to show something. I think I'm actually a little too late. But like, oh no. Critical Mats was ahead in eco. Look at that drop. 2400 only, ouch, because these harvesters are going all the way up here, this field is completely mined out, this one is completely mined out, they don't have a lot of eco left all of a sudden, less than half the current eco of uh, Prisoner's Gloria, these two going all the way around as well, wherever they go, nobody knows, and well, that's another refinery on a field which is also like soon going to be used, uh, that's a lot of harvesters on very small fields. Eco is not gonna look good. 1400 in the last 30 seconds, whereas Prus and Gloria, 4500 plus. Yeah, um, they have a lot of harvesters. Don't get me wrong, Critical Mets has enough harvesters. They're not very efficient, as in they're insanely inefficient. Seemingly blocking their own pathing as well. So having to go even further around. And so sad, but these harvesters should have really gone here. Though maybe they would have been picked off by the grenadiers then. So it's a little difficult to say, but yeah. This is very long distance mining, which is not amazing. And oh, stupid game. Didn't miss a lot. Okay. Anyway, grenadiers now moving forwards, taking down the refinery. Okay. If you can get this position, you can like expand downwards and you've got good eco once again. However, there are a lot of units here for Gloria and you're losing quite a lot yourself. One little grenadier is left and you are now going after the barracks, that's fine. But also watch out because there are rocket soldiers here. So your orcas aren't exactly the safest either. Now here, yep, ouch, that hurts. This is an enemy base, this is your harvester. That's not where it should be. If it's an offensive harvester, sure, but that, this one is, just isn't. Take down a couple of grenadiers, which is quite nice. But uh, yeah, three, five harvesters on those two small fields. It's keeping you alive for now, I will say. I mean, you do have a little bit of eco still. But that's going to run out relatively quickly as well. This harvester is doing the right thing and actually going to the southern field. But yeah, as I already said, it is also a little bit in danger. Because it's very close to the enemy. 
you've got to secure this position if you want to, like, keep the Harvester alive. Outpost is going to try and take down everything here and the Harvester is not alive. Rocket Soldiers aren't exactly the most efficient and Orcas do escape with their lives. And this could be a good explosion. Since, yeah, Rocket Soldiers, they don't have a lot of HP. As in, they are made out of cardboard. They don't have any HP. Anyways, firing on those grenadiers, it's not working very well, but it is working a little bit since you outranged them. APCs with nothing, but they can of course run over infantry, they could scare crit not critical meds, they could scare Prusen's Gloria. And well, they are currently just running over all of the infantry, but not that effective honestly. They did get good number of kills, but like, they didn't kill everything. Now, grenadiers are almost all gone, but this, these are two damaged harvesters. So, yeah, Prusen's Gloria is, our uh, eco is still like double, but these harvesters now are also not efficient. They've ran out of Tiberium here. And, well, this field is not exactly efficient. This one is decently efficient still, but not with like four uh, harvesters on it. They don't really have the upkeep, I guess, for like that many harvesters. And well, these fields are now pretty much out as well. That means that they've got to secure this field somehow soon. More APCs, but nothing in them. So not going for a sneak, you like, uh, well, not really a sneak, but like not going with an APC push with a couple of grandees or something onto the construction yard. Nothing like that. And harvesters, they're being stupid as well, because they're all getting the last little piece of Tiberium. APC over here, not exactly the most efficient today. Oh well. And critical meds, eco, is not looking good. This one is still efficient for Prusen's Gloria. This one is like not efficient, but at least it's better than what the enemy has. Because... These fields are all gone, this one is pretty much gone, this one is gone. They've got to go here, and well, luckily enough for them, the enemy doesn't have anything there anymore. This one is loaded up, so a little bit of an attack, but it does not do a lot. Technically, you may have, may have damaged the construction yard, but like, that could have also just been from power. Now, I think you may have damaged it a little bit. Anyways, harvesters, four of them now maybe going down. And critical mats now trying to take down the enemy harvesters. Some of them were already quite damaged. So that's nice. And 28 power left over. So power plant going down is important, but not hurting right now. And this is what you need to see. Zero eco in the last 30 seconds. That's not a lot. Like, sure, Prusen's Gloria's eco has also gone down significantly. They were on, like, 5,000 every 30 seconds a while ago. But zero isn't a lot. Harvester stuck. Yeah, um... That's not looking good. Finally, they have one harvester which is, like, unloading, but, like... Ooh, that hurts. It hurts a lot. And harvester gone. You're already way behind in, like, eco now, right? Let's check. Yep. In total eco, way behind as well. And then you can't really have like half of us being stuck and all that. Over here, grenadiers are now moving in. And if the weapons factory and the helipads and all that go down, it could be very bad. There goes the weapons factory. That means no more vehicles. And no more APCs, nothing like that. Construction yard was sold off a little bit ago. Orcas going down. This is looking grim for critical mads. It really is. Harvesters following the road because that's giving a speed boost, of course, right? No, it's not, but like, could be. Anyways, a lot of things going down over here. Some grenades still defending. And three, four, uh, four 
barracks to produce from, so you do have a lot of a decent amount of production. But is that enough? I don't think so. Over here, this one you might be able to take down the officer, which would, would be great, of course. But what do you do against this number of grenadiers? The enemy is like 20k ahead in total eco, which is significant. I mean, look at the army numbers. There is a big ball of grenadiers, and like this is the biggest ball Critical Mats has. That's not a lot. Expansion could happen over here through the sandbags for Prison Gloria, but I don't really need it right now. I mean, these harvesters are not the most efficient. Don't get me wrong. I mean, the uh, harvester can't go in there right now. Neither of them can. But still, like you're keeping your refineries alive or like occupied, and you've got two or three relatively close by. So you've st uh, still got some eco. Whereas this is the closest field and like, uh, they're all going all the way up here. That's not great for critical mats. One APC without units is not going to accomplish anything. Even though there are no defenses here. Yeah, they just gave up on that, I think. And should we still like slow down? Sure. There. If I any sold off, maybe even just sell this one off so that you know that they can't go there anymore. I mean, these two refineries should be enough to keep your four harvesters working. And this is also a little bit annoying. Now more grenades are moving in. Which, well, no opposition from critical mats right now. Nothing being built. Well, a little bit being built, but not a lot because uh, eco, remember? You don't have a lot of that. You could build one more grenadier, but you're not doing that right now. Oh well. Hey, there is the one grenadier. And zero ecos. You are getting a little bit through this officer, sure. You do hold on there, but there is a lot there. From Gloria. Seemingly going for the top officer as well. Nope. Probably should, since there is a harvester in there soon, and you know about it. Uh, possibly that they're just chatting right now, I'm not sure. And you are indeed going there, sure. Grenadier commands are still trying to run with their grenadiers. And they voluntarily let themselves get squished. No insurance for fraud here, because they are not going to throw a claim at Prusen's Gloria. Anyways, going to try and get a couple of kills there with the officer, and you do get like seven or so. And KD honestly is not looking bad for critical mats, but like eco, yeah. Let's go there once more. S less than 70,000 versus almost 100,000. 30k difference. Yep, that's a lot. You can do a lot with that. 30,000. Ouch. And maybe these are the last grenadiers moving in, in the choke point, so it's not exactly a position like critical mats can pass easily. Trying to defend their harvesters down here, but at the same time, Gloria is just moving forward and killing all of the buildings. Four buildings stand between them and going one to one in the match. AOD serves up between Ark, Prusons Gloria in the blue, versus... In the red, Relentless, also known as Critical Mads, yay! So, start, pretty much the same, slightly more efficient tarfers here, because of the south entrance, but I mean that's the same for these two fields, so, pick your poison, choose whatever you want, I don't care, both are pretty much the same efficiency. So, game three. Hmm. Double ref over there. Sure, you can probably keep that up. And scouting, 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 scouting. That. Ooh, just barely. You don't see it. That hurts for critical math, that's for sure. And I'm not sure if Gloria knows that it has not been scouted. Yet. The other way, no scouting available. 
Anyways. Um. Yeah. Gloria, just like 3 ref here. We've got 4 ref now. Slightly faster with the 4th. Sure. I mean, slightly faster in general. They were even faster with like the deploying of the MCV and building the power plant. Anyways. Scouting hasn't really improved, right? Nope, hasn't. And over here, four refs as well. Not going for this field yet. Not really sure why not. Since this one is more exposed and a smaller field and all that. Uh, but it's fine. Critical math just trying to get the refinery killed, but it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't. It might, but it shouldn't. And it's not. Good. I guess. Anyways, over here, one ref going to expand to the big fields. And is Gloria going to like the same side? It kind of looks like it, but they're also like expanding into the middle. Which is less common since these are like very big fields. Whereas these are like quite small. But I do think they're like closer by. Yeah, they are. So it's quite easy to get there. Sure. Anyways, 5 ref, 6, uh, 7 ref. Wow. This is 5. Okay. Also going for rocket soldiers now because apparently... Nope. Nope. Oh, that hurts. Look at the cash. 300 each, right? There are 5 of them. That's 1500. Something which hasn't been scouted. So critical mats is never going into an orca switch to snipe it right now. They might go into an orca switch because of this thing, the war factory. But not to scout or like to snipe the construction yard. Now they might. Sure. But preventing that scouting would have been better. Honestly. Anyways, critical mat now almost at the big... Did you just sell your barracks? Why did you sell the barracks? Maybe you didn't, but it looked like it. Anyways, light scout. Scouting. Construction yard. Right. Critical Mats knows enough about the enemy base that if Ark wants to go for a Orca switch, Critical Mats should know about it fast enough in order to like get a defense to, uh, yeah, to defend against it, against an Orca snipe and sniping power plants. Okie dokie. Still on plus 107 and plus 35. And that's a lot of grenadiers. If they don't get squished, they should be able to take down that war factory. And they just barely do kill it. Boom. Yep. That's also one very nice thing for critical mats. They were honestly, yes, they were very lucky. The explosion? Of the Grenadier did a little bit of damage to the, the the war factory, which set it on fire, and the DOT ended up killing it. The damage over time. That was honestly very lucky, and later Critical Mass also said like they didn't really realize that they did get killed at the time, but oh well. Anyways, over here now Orca switch actually coming in from Crusus Gloria, and well. They have scouting on the construction yard. Critical Mets now coming in with the defense to the Orca switch, kind of, by going for their own Orcas. Might also be to snipe the construction yard, I'm not sure. And Gloria's Eco is already like 13, almost 14,000 behind. And, well, we're not that far into the game yet. It's like almost 50% behind. 42,000 ish versus like 28,000. Just because a lot of eco here. There really is, and this field is already out, so like this refinery is insanely inefficient already. And up here, that's fine. Oh well. Anyways, Orcas going to just snipe a couple of medium things. Grenadiers to defend against the enemy grenadiers, and Gloria just doesn't have the eco to like do anything with. They're orcas, I guess. Like, not able to get up enough of them to really make a push. But right now, it's just like a wasted $1,500. Which is a bit of a problem if you're behind an eco. 
Anyways, over here they are getting some good shots. I mean, 109 versus 80 in their KD. So that's not bad. It really isn't. And critical mats losing some more grenadiers. Okie dokie. And some of them even getting squished. Right. How many rocket soldiers? It's five. Four Apaches, Orcas, is not going to be enough. And just gives up because they don't want to lose those. Makes sense. Like five of them, if it's repaired, isn't even enough to kill the construction yard. And yeah, with those rocket soldiers there, you would have otherwise lost one or two Orcas. So even in a second bombing run, you, I don't think you would have been able to kill that. Though, maybe... Might depend on how many of them you lose. Anyways, over here now, Grenadier numbers for Critical Mets are very good, and more Rocket Soldiers being built. However, Grenadiers deal quite well with those. Also, are you going for the Orca? You really should be going for that, that's 1200 value. But you're not. You're going for the Rocket Soldiers, which also makes sense, because that makes the path clear for your Orcas. And going 1 to 1, or even 2 to 1, with an, a Rocket Soldier with a Grenadier, that's amazing. 160 value for the Grenadier, what is it? 300 for a Rocket Soldier. Okay, and almost everything has been cleared up, so Apaches are pretty much free to go in there. And of course the game jumps a lot. Anyways, um, yeah, Apaches are about to be free to go in there. We're on one Rocket Soldier left, but that's not a big deal. One of them doesn't deal enough damage to take down an Orca in like the bombing run. But four Orcas... It should be enough to at least damage it significantly in order to take it down in a second bombing run. These Orcas, they really should be going for those right now, maybe, kind of. And selling? Okay, what? How the hell is it going down to four? Or at least you believe it's going down to four already. Interesting. Anyways. Significant number of grenadiers over here. And those are just, like, wrecking havoc here, taking down barracks and all that. Where is the eco going to come from for Gloria in order to defeat Mads now? Their orcas are going down, they've only got, like, four rafts. One of them is already, like, not exactly efficient, the other one isn't efficient either. These two are still, like, decent. And now they're actually onto three rafts. One little orca is going to do it for their entire team. They're going to attack. The helipad. Ooh, that's gonna show them. Anyways, 200 at 150 in KD. So that's still not bad for uh, Prison's Gloria. But KD doesn't matter much depending on like the value of the units. Losing multiple orcas is going to hurt you more than just losing a couple of minigunners or grenadiers. Now, medium tanks, great against the outpost, and don't get scared by a single rocket soldier. Especially not in these numbers. Orca, you are the counter to the medium tanks. Show them. Show them you're a good counter. I don't think the Orca is going to do that. The medium tanks will just be enough to win relentless or critical mats at this game, I'm pretty sure. Because, yeah, what does Prusen's Gloria have? They've got three refineries, now they've got one, because they're starting to sell it all off. And don't let your officer go in, because then you can't sell it anymore. There you go, good job, and GG. That was game three, it's two to one, to critical mods. With almost double the eco. Game four is on elevation, where we've got uh, Ark, Ark, Prisons of Gloria in the blue. This is Relentless, Critical Mads in the red, once again, red and blue and all that, it's fine. So, Critical Mads with a slightly faster, well, a lot faster actually, a lot faster barracks. Because, a hey, Gloria is actually going for the refinery first. Slightly more eco-focused, whereas, well, Mads is going for the, I would say, more standard play. With early barracks. And might have been the reason why the barracks is over here. In order to defend the like construction yard placement. Maybe. Scouting on it. I don't know. Might actually just be for this refinery indeed. 
does also make a lot of sense. Relentless, critical mats already with three refineries. And there is the third for Ark. Couldn't she have placed it like here? In order to get it once placed closer? I think you could have. Yes, it is important. I know that, but this is also fine. Anyways, critical mat. Now scouting barracks, scouting power plant. Okay, scouting. Ooh, a lot of scouting here. Getting to know the refinery. And that's all. Construction yard was scouted as well, by the way. Uh, Yeah, that's all, pretty much. All of the base that prisons has. They don't know about these two little buildings, but those aren't the most important. They should know they're located over there and also which buildings they are. Anyways, already five refs over there, five refs over here as well. Both with forward barracks and all that, sure. Uh, elevation, so five barracks then into wolf factory is possible, maybe. A lot of grenadiers moving forwards though for critical mats, so you might not have the time to build a war factory. You might need to defend. And since you're about to be out of cash, it's not great. And indeed going for like six, or like indeed, they are going for six refineries first. Not optimal placement because of the grenadiers from mats. A little unintentional maybe, but it was definitely a very good use of those grenadiers. Blocking the harvester placement or like refinery placement. Also spiding downwards, where they should be able to get a very good uh, efficiency harvester. So it's not too bad that this one was placed downwards. So seven rafts over there, and war factory on this side, okay. So, spiding downwards into like efficient fields, very nice. Kinda giving up this field, it doesn't matter all that much to give this one up, as long as you then get these two yourself. Or like, yeah, well, one of them to start with, of course, and then the other one. Because why not? We're greedy. Right, a uh, couple of medium tanks now out. Arc may be a little bit vulnerable to an attack down south. With construction yard being like this far downwards compared to everything else they've got. Might be a little vulnerable there. But should probably be able to hold on. Right, there is the weapons factory. It is somewhat known by critical mats. They know about like this platter and like what else would you be building there at this stage of the game. So I think they know that it's a refinery, a uh, war factory. Eco is also slightly ahead for Claudia because of course these two refs were up later. The 6th and 7th ref. And you know what? Critical Mats hasn't really done anything with the tanks in the meantime. They're like 2 to 5, but they're not using those 5 tanks. So going for 7 refs first and then War Factory might have actually been the better play. Since, well, yeah, your army is slightly delayed, but you've got more eco. And you're like a little over a thousand eco ahead. Even with like worse placement there. Right. With a safe ref down to, or a war factory down south. Okay. Recommend does not know about that one at all. But probably knows it should have been placed. Since, well, people know the build orders. And going down south. Okay. Mads will probably get a refinery up soon, their 8th one, there it is. So should also be able to, well, not really pull ahead, but at least like, get to the same level of eco as like, uh, Gloria. Because I think this is the 8th one for Gloria, right? It uh, seems like it, yes. So was ahead ever so slightly, but they were behind by like 1400 in total. Before that point. Anyways, more tanks here for critical mats. Losing some grenadiers by having them run over. But is currently taking the better fight. 
So they kind of have to watch out with the reinforcements coming in. What kind of reinforcements do you have, Critical Mads? Well, nothing down south, but you've got it all up north. Uh, what do you lose in the meantime? You're attacking up north, they're attacking down south. Your tank numbers here are good. You might be able to semi-trap like those two harvesters. And what is that refinery placement? Why? It should... It it at least should have been here then. I mean, having three on this field is not great. Don't get me wrong, but like, what's that placement? Anyways, over here, one refinery, including the officer, does go down. And after that, critical match goes back. Push on this side for Gloria has been stopped. At least, somewhat. And now a lot of grenadiers are moving forwards. Right. Can they be ran over? Not really. And that's a third refinery. Wow. War factory. There we go. Third time I said it was a refinery. Wow. Anyways, up north. Now, tanks moving in. Might be like keeping the officer from like getting into the refinery. Though it might have also been intentionally stopped since it already stopped here rather than like going up against the enemy tank seems like it they probably didn't want to lose the refinery with the harvester because it is indeed full so pushing back over here and then south is launching a good attack themselves as ow i wanted to say as long as the grenadiers don't explode it's going to be fine come on yeah oh stupid anyways as long as the grenadiers don't explode like that this should be a devastating push. Taking down one little power plant, taking down two little power plants. Still 43 power left over for Gloria, so it's not a big deal. Losing them of course hurts, but it's not that important. And hey, that makes more sense, a refinery like that. Anyways. Push over here now for Critical Mets as well, and they've got like a good amount of cash in the bank. So, it's not as if they're going to run out ever that quickly. Good number of tanks here as well. Seven tanks. And might be able to get a half as a kill here soon if Gloria is forced to go back. Uh, okay. Very interesting. Medium tanks. Okay, so one pushing in, the other one as well. Are you going for a construction yard? It... No. It looked like it, but no. But but yes? No. War factory. Right. Great choice as well. And it should go down, right? Well, I mean, there are three or four medium tanks shooting at it, so it should go down. And um, that's... Yeah, there it goes. Finally. And now construction yard as well. Four tanks from the north, two from the south. It's sold off. And what does Gloria have? Well, they've got like one war factory there. And they've got a couple of barracks. Critical Mats has three war factories. They sold off their construction yard, so they can't produce more of them. But they don't really need that. They can just shoot everything here, get a lot of kills, and like destroy your eco. The south eco is also important for... Well, for both players, of course, because these... Refineries are like pretty good, sure. But you can't really sustain your entire base on that. Because, well, Mads is trying to harvest this field and is harvesting the south. And they're even stealing your own Tiberium. Wow. But how are you going to stop this many tanks? You need like a good number of tanks yourself, but like four is not going to cut it. Stuck harvesters are definitely not going to cut it. And that means that these grenadiers need to make a lot of cash for you. Or like, need to do a lot of damage. But it currently doesn't look like it. They're getting ran over. And that's not great. I don't really see a way for Gloria to come back from this. I mean, their tank numbers are not bad here. But uh, Critical Match tank numbers just look better. That's the problem. So... 
Oh, uh, one, two, uh, three, tank gun. Little bit of grenadier help. Rocket soldiers don't help. But they're here, and they're spending a lot of cash. And it's all gone. Right, up north. Well, a harvester was trapped for critical mats, so that's good. Um, And Ark is actually, like, ahead by, like, four, three thousand in total eco. So that's still not bad, but I don't see that on the field. These army numbers, these army numbers. That doesn't reflect the 3,000 ahead in eco. The 15 to 1 in, like, buildings raised, that kind of does, though. The fact that you were able to build 16 more buildings than the enemy, effectively. Or, like, 10-ish more. Yeah, that sounds about right. 10 more buildings than the enemy. But they took them all down, so your eco lead is not actually doing anything. Field up north, almost gone, which means that if you somehow destroy all of this, this eco is just going to carry critical mats into a victory. Because just three barracks over here. Nope, that's not enough. It's time for critical mats to move on to round four. After this, a three to one victory against Prusen's Gloria. However, for that, Prusen's first has to sell everything off, and they're just about to do that. Or it gets killed. There. And indeed, Prusen's Gloria with a slight eco lead. Critical Mats going to face off against the winner between Aeon and AOD Gaming in round 4. So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.